hi uh we met again okay so this is the second video for topic three so we continue with the five basic kinds of organizational structure so they have they have five uh structure here so the first one is entrepreneur uh, entrepreneur okay the second one is machine bureaucracy the third one is divisionalized bureaucracy the fourth professional bureaucracy and the last one is adocracy so entrepreneurial so this is about a small startup business so it's very small that's why we call it as entrepreneur so the structure um quite quite small okay i have um i have a number uh small number of workers okay so maybe the processes is not uh bigger compared to other structure okay and the second one is we have is machine bureaucracy it is a mid-sized manufacturing Okay, and the third one is divisionalized bureaucracy. This is a Fortune 500 firms. So you boleh browse uh, about what is Fortune 500 firms. Okay, and company besar. And then we have professional bureaucracy. Uh, usually it happens to the law firm, school system, hospital. Okay, uh, any professional uh, work. And the last one is adocracy. Adocracy uh, most probably about the consultation. Okay, consulting firm. Okay, and then how information systems impact the organization and business firm. So, we have two impacts here. The first one is economic impacts. And the second one is organizational and behavioral impacts. So, economic impacts, okay. So, the IT will affect the cost and quality of information and changes economics of information. So, they have two theory here. The first one is about transaction cost theory. The second one is agent uh, agent theory so transaction cost theory is a firm seek to economy uh, economize on transaction cost uh, internet firms find it more cost effective to use the marketplace so dia lebih kepada macam transaction cost ni macam uh, kenapa nak perlu kena buat manually transaction dan kenapa tak pakai internet so benda tu akan lebih macam transaction cost tu dia akan dia akan mengurangkan dari segi ekonomi dia akan kurangkan dari segi punya fuel you punya toll, you punya parking, banyaklah you punya energy, you punya time, benda tu semua kita panggil sebagai trans transactional cost theory. And then we have agent theory, it's possible for firms to grow without adding for the, to the cost of supervising. Bila dapat je macam ada satu-satu T, oh kena ada supervisor, kena ada supervisor, kena ada orang kat atas. So kenapa nak kena ada, why not bentuk terus je kepada management, itu lebih mudah daripada kita nak kena ada banyak sangat rank. Okay, in the company. The second one is organizational and behavioral impact. So, when we use IT, so IT, dia akan flatten the organization. Okay, when they flatten, kalau you tengok dekat sini, ini adalah tra traditional hierarchy. Ramai kan? Banyak sangat. Ramai sangat uh, bekerja dekat sini. So, dia ada, dia ada banyak level. So, kita ada 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 levels. Okay, and then bila kita pakai IT, bila ada information system, so kita akan flatten by removing layers of management. Tak perlu banyak sangat. Okay, tak perlu ramai sangat dia punya rank. So, daripada 5 levels, so we move into 3 levels only. Okay, and then dari se dan bila dah IT flatten, dia ada post industrial organization. So, benda tu dia akan tengok, okay, sama ada this worker sesuai atau tidak duduk di satu departemen ataupun dia lebih mudah untuk pergi ke departemen lain yang, yang le lebih memerlukan and it will rely on knowledge and competence rather than formal position so kalau dia knowledgeable bidang lain so better we move this worker to another department itu lebih better compared to daripada duduk situ tak buat apa-apa okay and then uh, the internet and organization so they can increase the accessibility the storage and distribution of information and knowledge for organization kalau you tengok kat sini kita ada cloud storage and they di, dia and they reduce the transaction and agency cost okay itu yang bagusnya bila kita uh, we use the internet so the organizational factors in planning a new system we have to look about the environment either the environment is agreeable or can accept okay whatever we plant okay whatever we plant and then we have the structure okay we have to look about the structure when you plan a new system the culture and politics 
the types of organizations and the leadership style. Either the, the top management understand about the new system is all about. Okay, so this is the factors that you need to know when you want to plan something new for your organization. Kadang-kadang kita nak cakap sebab kita nak cakap pasal because they involve the cost. Okay, bila you involve the cost, bila orang tak faham, so it's very difficult for us to to explain, to introduce something new to them. Okay. Alright, why do some firms become leaders in their industry? So, they follow this uh, forces model. We call it as a Michael Porter competitive forces model. So, Michael Porter ni, dia yang buat model ni. So, um, dia lebih kepada apa? Alright, so, dia lebih kepada satu, ada lebih kepada kita punya competitors. Okay, competitors. Tapi, you nampak kat sini, not only focus, focusing on traditional competitors. Kita kena tengok competitors lain juga. Kalau katalah you ni adalah sebuah university, so competitors you tak semestinya you universiti awam. You kena tengok universiti swasta, you kena tengok college swasta, you kena tengok college community. Itu semua all your competitors. So you have to look apa strategi mereka, everything you have to understand. Right? Bila you are in the same industry. Okay? Alright, and then number two is about new market entrance. Okay, new market entrance adalah macam bila benda baru tu nak masuk dalam satu-satu industri. Okay, you nak memperkenalkan katalah contohnya you want to introduce about the uh, tablet. Okay, so what is the difference between the tablet and the uh, tablet and the computer and the smartphone and the, oh, masa tu tak adalah smartphone, telefon. So, apa yang bagusnya kita pakai tablet ni. So, this is the new market entrance. Benda baru that we want to introduce in the market. Alright. Number two is about the substitute product. We change, okay, from the old culture, okay, to the new thing. Contohnya, if you want to go for holiday, dulu you have to call the hotel or you need to go to the any travel agency. But now, you just browse by using all the Agoda, Trivago, booking.com to find the hotel to find the transportation and then to find the cheaper hotel where but uh but selesa affordable benda macam tu okay so ini kita panggil sebagai substitute from the walkman into the ipod uh, zaman you ada walkman ke tidak saya rasa macam tak ada okay from the walkman into the ipod daripada video recorder kepada now kita dah tak ada dah even dvd pun kita tak pakai kita lebih pakai apa we look by using web base kita tengok dekat netflix okay benda-benda macam tu so this is what we call as the substitute products number 3 is about supplier we have to understand about the supplier uh, with the low cost uh, <coughs> but uh, faster cheaper and faster dan benda tu masih macam all the products must be uh, satu affordable lah. Lagi satu macam complete atau enough for your organization to run. Okay. Kena ada benda macam ni. And then the customer. You have to make sure you uh, you care about your customer to make sure customer you tak lari. Kena jaga. So macam mana cara nak jaga? Bukan sentiasa macam you okay? You okay? Tak ada. Macam mana? So macam if they need something you have to entertain them. Uh, ataupun memudahkan cara if they have the problem so benda tu macam they browse katalah dekat you punya website they can find the solution memudah cara okay so this is uh, what the Michael Porter suggest okay to the industry and then what are the strategies for dealing with the competitive forces sebab tadi kita dah ada competitive forces so apa strategi yang kita kena pakai kita kena ada low cost leadership Low cost leadership ni adalah lower price than competitors. Tapi jangan lower sangat. Macam katalah you jual telefon, orang tu jual RM1,300, you jual RM1,300 tu. Katalah dia jual RM1,300, you jual RM1,250. Alright, so dia affordable. So, you have to understand about the low cost leadership. Number two is about focus on, focus on market niche. So, you focus on your specialization. Okay, macam contohnya Hilton. Kita tahu Hilton ni apa? Bukan Paris Hilton. Hilton ni apa? Hilton ni adalah hotel. Jenama hotel. Kita tengok je Hilton, kita tahu. Okay, this is the hotel. This is the resort. Okay, kita, kita, bila kita tengok satu-satu nama tu, kita tahu dia apa. 
Okay, uh, so benda macam ni yang kita nak ada. Maknanya kita punya specialization, Hilton specialization dia tau. Okay, so benda macam ni. Alright, and then number three is a product differentiation. Okay, greatly change customer convenience and experience. We have to look, apa different dia Apple dengan Samsung? Apa bezanya Apple with the Huawei, Google and Yahoo, Nike and Adidas? So, what is the differentiation here? So, kena tahu sebab about the convenience of their customer and the experience of their customer. So, menyebabkan mereka macam suka pakai benda tu and straighten customer and supply intimacy. Ini yang saya bagi tahu tadi. Develop the strong ties and loyalty with customer and supplier. So, kita pakai apa? Macam dulu, mula-mula kita beli tape, uh, video tape. Lepas tu, we move to CD, DVD. D, okay, VCD, DVD. Lepas tu kita tak nak pakai. So nak pakai apa sekarang ni? So sekarang kita boleh daripada kita tengok siaran haram kan? So now we we uh, apa we subscribe Netflix. Netflix tu you boleh subscribe dengan unsubscribe kan? So it's up to you as the customer. So jika you ada masalah, dia akan, you boleh contact with the Netflix. Same goes to Amazon.com. Ini lebih kepada macam pembelian. Sama juga dengan Lazada, Shopee, Fashion Valley, Zalora. So, these are all the strategies. Okay, the strategies to make sure you are in the market. Alright, so um, I stop here. Okay, later kita akan sambung dengan internet impact pula. Okay, so if you have any question, please ask me especially about these two. Okay, the Michael Porter's competitive forces model and the strategies. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Okay, um, I will see you in the next video later.